Today I want to talk about active monitoring in EntopNG. This feature is available in all versions, starting from the community to the enterprise. EntopNG was designed as a passive monitoring tool, but over time, as you know, we have added some new features that are mostly designed for active monitoring. The first one that was created years ago was Network Discovery. So it means that EntopNG is able to discover assets present on your network by running a discovery process that contacts one host after the other and tries to figure out what type of services are available on those hosts. In order to do that, you go in dashboard Network Discovery and then you click on the wheel. And then Network Discovery starts. So in this case, you will see a, a progress bar and the network discovery is performed by injecting traffic into the network. Remember that this feature is available only on those devices that are physical. So for instance, in this case, this is a, a network interface uh, available on my laptop and it's working. But if you have other type of devices, such as a loopback interface or a flow-based device, it is not possible to enable this because of course we cannot inject the traffic to it. People familiar with that will recognize the, their host, their assets. We, we also try to understand uh, what is happening, what, what type of devices is one, if a PC, a server and so on. And uh, we are also able to, to figure out what type of resources is that. So in this case, this is an example, there's a ghost icon. So it means that this host as you can see, as 192.168.0.1 is present on my network, so it has replied to active monitoring, but it's a ghost. This is because, as you can see, my network is 192.168.1. This is for the uh, network discovery. So, this is uh, an example of activity performed by NTOPNG by injecting traffic that is probably familiar to most of you. In addition to that, with version 4, we have introduced active monitoring. Active monitoring is basically something that you can do whenever you want to actively connect to devices and see what is happening to those devices and keep track of them. This is very important, for instance, when you want to monitor your gateway or some services. This does not mean that NTOPNG is becoming a service for active monitoring. We don't want to replace tools as Nagios or similar, but we want to integrate into NTOPNG the ability of performing better measurement over time, and also for keeping track of selected resources that are very relevant for us, such as the gateway, the web server, or the DNS servers, things like this, and that for which we want to make sure that those devices are in good health. In this page, you can add here your device. At the moment, we support a few uh, testing tools. Continuous ICMP, so it means that NTOPNG is continuously sending over time, every three seconds, a ping to a device, either IPv4 or IPv6. That is different from the ICMP or ICMPv6 because this one is sent once a minute. So the first one is mostly used for understanding how the latency changes over time. This one is that it should be used for understanding if a resource is answering or not. Here you can do the same test by accessing a web page over HTTP or HTTPS. Or this one is a speed test that allows you to see what is the bandwidth available on your system. Here you can specify the periodicity, so how often you want to run this test, maybe every hour is enough, and if you want to generate an alert when something happening in terms of bad quality. So in this case you can say if the bandwidth is below 99 megabit per second then deliver an alert. In order to leave it an alert you have to use a recipient here, that is something that we have already discovered in another video. Let's start this uh, monitoring and then uh, we'll show you how to do that. Let's now click on add. This is test. Let's now add another 
test. So I'm going to ping my gateway. This this one, and so on. So in this case, and OpenG is monitoring those devices, and it is checking whether the expected uh, quality, okay, exceeds or not the threshold we have in mind. As you can see here, we have uh, we have a problem because in this case, uh, the, the the monitored bandwidth is below uh, the threshold that uh, that we had in mind. Here there are charts, so you can click on it. It will be mostly empty today because this is just uh, the, the first measurement. But if you wait a little bit, if you are patient, you can specify uh, also the threshold, change the threshold, and add the value that you have in mind. You can also filter this with uh, alerted or, or not alerted. Okay. You can specify also what type of measurement you want to see, the speed test, and so on. Remember that you can change at any time the frequency of the measurement. Here in this case, uh, this one will happen uh, soon, but uh, it's not yet happening because we said every hour. And uh, whenever you do that, the, the measurements are reset. Let's now show everything. Okay. Now, after the first measurement, we see the situation has improved, so the RTT is, is a little bit better, so we are good. Unfortunately, as you can see, we are yellow. This is because, i show you. So we have decided to, to put an alert whenever we see the measurement happening below a certain threshold. So in this case, when 99% of the measurements or, or, or less are not good, we consider this an alert. And of course we can generate an alert. And in order to deliver alerts, we know that uh, we have the concept of recipients and the concept of endpoints. So in essence, the ability of specifying who is supposed to receive a certain alert. And uh, once you have done that, so once you have generated your, your endpoint for, for that reason, you can go to pools and specify for active monitoring here those recipients you want to alert in case something goes wrong. Let's make an example. Let's create an endpoint. In a previous video, I'm showing you Discord. So we can show you how to create a Discord endpoint. Okay. Let's do add endpoint name. Okay, Discord is, is starting. Endpoint name and uh, Discord. And here we have to specify the webhook. Let's specify the webhook. We go to here. Se select the channel. Click here. Integrations. View webhook. The first one and then copy. And here specify the webhook. And then specify the recipient. Look at Discord. Then I want to specify username, maybe. Let's say active monitoring. And I want to send everything to it. Let's do a test. Okay, it's working. Good. Now, how do I bind a recipient with uh, some traffic? So in this case, we want to bind this to active monitoring. So we have to click here on pools, active monitoring, edit, and specify, look at Discord. Then click edit. So from this type on, so we have to be in the system interface when you have to do active monitoring in case something goes wrong with our polling so in case the host stops receiving uh, or answering to our queries you can see an alert happening here okay the same alert can be received also if the traffic is not satisfying the threshold 
So for instance, let's now add a new ICMP. Let's do ICMP, the same host, my gateway. So in case that the the this case the round trip time exceeds let's say one millisecond, send this to default. Okay? And as you can see here, look at this code that will be informed. If you want you can click here just to see okay the discord and the point we have created before okay let's now go back to our other window specify again our host and then put icmp then add okay i know that it flows very good let's now go back to system and let's now have a look at the alerts when we have an alert here the alerts will be showing up okay let's now delete all of them like i've said the continuous ping is a ping that is happening every three seconds icmp is a ping that is happening every minute this one can be specified see every hour you can change at any time the frequency if you want to do a, a, a slower ping and now let's uh, simulate an alert now we have to wait a little bit until uh, you know a new measurement is performed so 36 seconds uh, ago this was uh, this was the case so we don't have to wait for too long so we have to set it to, to every minute so in about uh, 20 seconds or less uh, the measurement will happen and the window here will, uh, will report uh, this information okay as you can see there is an alert now if you want I can click here okay you see the alert has been received and the alert is reported on a web GUI. Okay, the same you can do with SNMP, that is also another example of uh, active monitoring. And the mechanisms are exactly the same for delivering alerts, uh, notification, and everything. So we hope you enjoyed this video. We hope you can start using active monitoring in addition to NTOPNG traditional traffic monitoring. Thank you very much for using our tools.